Minus 15. Roll for ignition. 10, 9, start. 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Liftoff of the mighty Delta IV heavy rocket with NASA's Parker Solar Probe, a daring mission to shed light on the mysteries of our closest star, the Sun. Maximum dynamic pressure and Mach 1 Delta 4 is now supersonic. One minute, 30 seconds into flight. Port and starboard booster engines continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Port booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. One minute, 45 seconds into flight. Trajectory continuing to look good right down the middle of the range track. ACS press valve has been opened. ACS pressure response looks good. Trajectory continuing to look good down the middle of the range track. And we have jettison in both strap-on boosters. Core booster is throttled back up to full thrust. Response looks good. The Delta IV reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 1 minute 18 seconds. At 3 minutes 56 seconds, the port and starboard booster engine shut down. Two seconds later, the boosters are jettisoned. At 5 minutes 36 seconds, propellant levels deplete, and the main engine shuts down. Seven seconds later, the Delta IV separation system activates to release the first stage. At 5 minutes 55 seconds, the first Delta cryogenic second stage, or DCSS main engine burn, begins. At approximately 6 minutes 5 seconds, the payload fairing is jettisoned. At 10 minutes 37 seconds, cutoff of the DCSS engine, or MECO-1, occurs. At 22 minutes, 25 seconds, the DCSS main engine is restarted for the second burn. Approximately 14 minutes later, second cutoff of the DCSS main engine occurs. Following a 30-second coast phase, the third stage is separated. 20 seconds later, the third stage is ignited. Approximately 1 minute, 29 seconds later, burnout of the third stage solid rocket motor occurs. At 43 minutes, 10 seconds, the third stage releases NASA's Parker Solar Probe spacecraft on its journey to the sun. 